Mama, I know I've asked you this before. And I'm sorry to ask you again, but if there's anything at all about Papa's disappearance, no matter how small, that you haven't told me yet. Luis, what is it? Why have you been asking me so many questions recently about your father? Well, you know, I've always felt that Papa abandoned us. I don't believe that. I don't believe he's dead either. Well, something happened, and I want to know what. I asked Sam to look into it. But the police already did a thorough investigation. Yeah, well, that was years ago. There's more advanced technology now, things that can help us find out the truth about what happened to Papa. Now, Sam promised me that he'd use all the department's resources. He put out an APB. We should find out something soon. Oh, Luis. What is it, Mama? You're not afraid of what we'll find, are you? I just don't get why you'd be upset with me for wanting to know the truth, Mama. I am not upset, Grace. And I'm not afraid of what you'll find. I want the police to investigate. Believe me, I want to know the truth as much as you do. I know that there's a reason why Martin didn't come home that night. Well, at first he thought he was just working late? Yeah, but Jess was so unlike him not to call me. He let me know if he'd be home late. He was a considerate man. He was a good father and a good husband. When did you start to worry? By midnight, I just felt something was wrong. And you told me you tried to call him at work. But he wasn't there. I stayed up the whole night, and in the morning, I called the police. They investigated, but they came up with nothing. No trace of Martin Fitzgerald. People don't just vanish into thin air. I know. Sometimes I wonder if maybe he struck his head and, or had an accident and doesn't remember who he is. Maybe he's out there, somewhere, a lost soul, wandering around. Oh. And Papa had a wallet? ID? I mean, even if it was lost or stolen, by this time someone would have figured out who he was or, or where he came from. Now, there's an answer. And whatever that answer is, I'll bet that the Cranes figure in on it. Louise, the police never found any evidence that the Cranes were involved with Martin's disappearance. Well, maybe not yet, but we will. And then I'm gonna nail him. Oh, I just wish you would just put aside this hatred that you have for the Cranes. Maybe not till I find out once and for all what happened. <sighs> Look, I, I want to uh, see if Sam dug up anything. I'm gonna get to the station, okay? Anything? No John Doe is fitting Martin's description. Doesn't surprise me. I never thought it was foul play. I just thought my father took off and never bothered to come home. I mean, but why? I mean, Pilar said he was a good husband, devoted father. I mean, why would he want to run off? Doesn't make sense, does it? Not on the face of it, no. Well, who knows? You know, maybe there were secrets that my mother didn't know about. Maybe he had to disappear. Well, it's a big country. If you want to hide, you can definitely find a place. But the real question is, why would he want to hide? If I knew that, I'd know everything. Guess that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, I do remember the overhearing the phone conversation that my father had with Alistair Crane the night before he vanished. That's definitely something. Yeah, they were arguing. I couldn't make out the words, but the conversation was very tense. I mean, I remember that distinctly. Well, who called who? Alistair called my father. Strange, don't you think? What? That the head of a corporation would make a personal phone call to one of his workers? Yeah. I always thought it was strange, too. <laughs> Cranes don't usually associate with us common folk. Yeah. There's got to be more to it than that. Yeah. The Cranes know, but they won't say. Well, does Pilar know anything about the phone call that Alistair Crane made to your father? No, she said she didn't hear it. Why would Alistair Crane call your father? I mean, was he doing something special for the Cranes? If he was, he never mentioned it to any of us. I suppose it could be a coincidence. It's pretty hard to believe it was a coincidence that Alistair called the house, then he had an argument with my father, and... and the next day he was missing. You're right. No. no. I believe that the truth lies somewhere in the Crane Mansion. You gotta be careful, Luis. Don't do anything rash. I won't. You gotta gather the facts before you start throwing around accusations. 
The cranes are very powerful, very influential. I'm not afraid of them. I know you're not, Luis. I'm just telling you they're dangerous. You can't take the cranes for granted. Sam, I mean, if my instincts are telling me that the truth lies with the cranes, how am I supposed to ignore them? Because that's what good policemen do. It's a healthy balance, Luis. Sufficient evidence and a gut feeling. And right now, you've only got one of them. You taking off? Yeah, you good here? I'll be okay. Call me if you need anything. I will. Officer Fitzgerald Lopez. Lopez Fitzgerald. Well, whatever. I don't believe we have an appointment. You're right, we don't. I want to ask you a few questions, Mr. Well, Crane. I'm a very busy man. You can call my secretary. No, I need Perhaps... to talk to you now. Well, whatever it is can wait. No, it can't. What is this about? I want to ask you a few questions about a missing person, Mr. Crane. Mm. 